Hi Scorpio, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your monthly reading for August 2018. This is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, if it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. This reading may not be for you. So anybody that comments below that this isn't right, did you not hear what I just said? This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Rising for whoever it resonates with. There you are. Um, I think that you guys are working hard. You're working hard at making some changes in your life. You're releasing some things. You could be releasing a relationship or something that you once loved. There's a transformation on the horizon. You guys are transforming. That's what's going on. Becoming a new you. Becoming a new person. You're not the same person that you used to be. I feel like you have a lot of options. And, you know, you're making decisions about who you want to be, who you are, what your future holds, where you want to be in the next three years or whatever. I feel as though you may be a little confused because you know the options are endless. You may be worried about this transformation that you're going through, about this ending that you, or something that you need to release. Maybe you're worried about a relationship that needs to go. You're worried about how what's how is it going to affect the other person. Maybe you're losing sleep because you know that you want a new beginning, that you're ready for a new beginning, you're ready for a renewal. Maybe you feel guilty. Do you feel guilty, Scorpio, about letting something go that's already dead? It is dead. It, it's dead. It, something is over, okay? Death, and this is a death as well. I think that you've given it your all. Whatever it is that you are feeling guilty about letting go of, you have put in the all the work that you can put in. And now you're, you're in the midst of making this, this decision to let it go. Because you're ready for something new, but you're unable to have this new passionate beginning because you still haven't made the decision. This is making, the decision hasn't been made yet when this isn't upright. I'm thinking about the decision. And it's a complex one. So I feel like there's an opportunity for a new partner or a new passionate start elsewhere. Maybe it's somebody you work with. I'm not sure. But something has to end first. It does. With the death card and the ten of swords, something needs to end. And I think you feel guilty about it. But you're only bringing bad luck into your life by stalling. By stopping this change from happening. This is, this is trying to control destiny. Trying to control the fate. The wheel reversed. And when you try to control fate and destiny, it brings bad luck into your life. Because in, in all reality, I mean, yeah, you do have some control. The universe is in control. There's a higher power in control. And somebody's clinging to control with the wheel reversed. For many of you, I really feel like guilt is an issue. Like you feel guilty for leaving somebody behind and I feel or some situation behind, but you shouldn't feel guilty because we all have lessons to learn. With with endings bring new beginnings. So don't feel guilty if you need to let something end for your own growth, because there's no growth where you're at, there is no more growth. But you have to find the strength to find growth, you know, to allow growth, which you aren't doing at this point. Okay, somebody's not. Somebody is. This reading is not for everybody. Remember what I said at the beginning. 
somebody is feeling guilty for letting something end in a relationship or partnership or romance. Something they want it to end, but they don't have the... They're feeling guilty for doing it, and it's causing them uh, a lot of heartache. So you're hurting. You're suffering by holding on to something that is has no more passion. It has no more life. Could be a job. Could be a relationship. We have job relationship. Could be both. Could be both. I feel like right now it's 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 really time for you to be happy. It's time for you to celebrate your life. It's time for you to you know go out and have some fun. It's time for you to let your friends help you. Be be playful. Relax. Other people see that you're stressed. This is how other people see you. They see that you're stressed. They see that you're worried. But they also see that you want something to end. They see that you're you're going through a transformation right now, but you're trying to halt it. You're trying to stop it from happening. Why? Why? Remember, I said this reading will not resonate for everybody. For those of you that are like, no, no, no. Okay, then this reading's not for you. Your challenge is accepting a new beginning. The Ace of Wands, this is your challenge position. Position. Your challenge is allowing yourself to expand. There's no expansion with it in reversed. Allowing new beginnings to start. Your challenge is following your own passion. I think that you are indecisive about doing what's right for you. Somebody is making you feel guilty. And whether they're doing it on purpose or not, you're feeling guilty about leaving them behind. But it's only hurting you. It's causing you a lot of heartache, a lot of suffering. Now, there could be a third-party situation here, I have to say. Maybe because there's no passion where you're currently at, you're looking outside the relationship. For some of you. There's no passion there. It's like a, there's no excitement there. Laugh. There isn't. So your, your, your eyes are probably wandering. You're probably like, oh... God, I really want to go this route. I really want that. That person looks attractive, you know, because there's no passion left where you're at. And that's what happens. That's the universe. This is a universe card. The wheel trying to nudge you to follow your heart by throwing these obstacles or opening your eyes. But you have to find the strength to take action. Something needs to end so that you can be happy. End so that you can be happy. If you were happy in a relationship and there was passion and excitement, there wouldn't be a third party situation. You wouldn't even be thinking about it. When you're happy in a relationship, you don't look at another person with those kind of thoughts. You know what I mean? You don't. And if you are, then something ain't right. There's no progress, there's no success, there's no victory in whatever this is that's causing you sleepless nights and stress and guilt. There's no victory and success here, there's not. You have to take action right now. Act now, think later. Get out of this situation, whatever it is, that is making you suffer and there's no passion. It's just going to end in disaster. You're prolonging it, you're prolonging this breakdown. This is another universe card. Trying to fight the universe, trying to fight fate. Some, something needs to break down. Something needs to fall apart so that your blessings can come in.
But you have fear. <laughs> Upright is no fear. You're not being honest with yourself. You're being called to take action right now. Take action right now. You have to make this decision. Do you stay or do you go? Do I stay or do I go? There's a new door waiting for you to go through it. You're at a crossroads in your life and as you're being called. The world is right in front of you. If you're feeling guilty for leaving something behind, keep in mind that there are, what, 7 billion people in this world? Whoever's making you feel guilty, they'll get over it. They'll find somebody that's meant for them. I don't know where that came from. I don't. I feel as though you have to make a choice. You have options. You may decide to suddenly go. Right now, you are going through a period of restlessness and detachment and withdrawal and lack of contentment in your life because you know you want to go, but you feel like you can't leave this, whoever, whatever the situation is, whether it's a job or a person behind because you feel guilty. And therefore, your heart is, is not being fulfilled. There's a lot of heartache. There's a lot of hurt. There's a lot of suffering. But you're doing it to yourself because you're not following your own passions. You could be dealing with Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You have Aries, um, Leo, Sagittarius. You have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel like you guys are in a situation where there is no more passion at all. But you feel guilty for leaving. You have to walk away. You have to walk away from this emotional disappointment. You need to leave it behind. You need to turn your back on it. That's what the card is. Leaving. Leaving. With endings bring new beginnings for both people involved. So I feel like this is a month of walking away. Allowing your transformation to play out. Suddenly deciding to make that choice to follow your passion. Look, okay. No passion over here where you have to, that's causing a lot of hurt. There's no passion. It's breaking your heart. It's not fair to you. It's not fair to you. Okay, it's not. Okay. No passion. Now we got this one. He's got the ace of wands in his hands. He's, he's, he's going to find his passion because it hurts. To not have it. It hurts. I mean, come on now. I feel like this is a month of making that decision to, to probably, you know, to go. Whatever it is that you need to leave. Endings bring new beginnings. Ending this no passion so that you can have a new beginning. Too many. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. They are. Remember when I said if you're looking outside the relationship, if you're interested in other people when you're in a relationship and you're wondering what you, then you know that you got to go. It ain't going to get any better. You have to make a choice. You have to make a decision for your own heart. I looked at it. I have to show you. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. When you allow this transformation to happen and this ending to happen, 
what you have been waiting for will come. Magnificent, magnificent, magnificence, 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 magnificence. I got it, magnificence. Took me a minute, didn't it? Own your magnificence. The world needs your brilliance and grace. It does. Please don't let another person hold you back and make you feel guilty. Everybody deserves to feel love and be loved and follow their heart. And keep in mind, there's 7 billion people. There you have it. Talk to you later.